everyone. We are so excited to be here and be part of the first ever mobile nop mobile nomics. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do as we kick off the morning is just set the stage and remind what the, the key topics are that we want to cover over the next two days, as well as recapping some of the discussions that happened yesterday. Um, so we have a few introduction uh, ideas that we want to set uh, for the morning, and then we are very privileged to have Tom share some real life examples of how he's looking at the mobile space uh, along with the rest of Coke and some cases. So really exciting stuff, but as Josh mentioned, um, we're asking for no tweets, no pictures for Tom's content. Um, so with that, any words before we get started with our presentation? Nothing to add. All right. Nothing to add. So let's move to the next slide. As we think about where we are with mobile, I think we have a lot of mobile savvy people in the room. And the, the one thing that we've seen that's really driving a lot of the activity and a lot of discussions that we have at Ansible with our clients is the fact that mobile reached a tipping point a few months ago. There was a magical day in November of 2014 where more web traffic was coming from mobile devices than desktop. And that was really a shift that has triggered a lot of the conversations that we have with some of our largest clients as they've seen these massive amounts of traffic coming from mobile devices. They're asking questions about, is our mobile site optimized? Is, do we, are we providing the best mobile experiences? Do we have the right ad units? Everything that's part of that mix. But then even more importantly, asking the questions of this, what does this mean beyond just advertising? There's so much power in what mobile can do from a marketing standpoint. Um, so that's a big part of the, the discussion as well. So if we move to the next slide, um, one thing that's really worth noting is this notion of addiction. And I think we've all heard different statements about how um, people aren't willing to give up their phone and they wake up with their phone. But there's some recent research out there that really drives that home with some stats. The average person pick up, picks up their phone 150 <coughs> times a day. You've probably already picked up your phone twice in the last 10 minutes. Um, and if you think that's a big number, when we look at millennials, who are the core group driving a lot of marketers' decisions, they're picking up their phones 400 times a day. So even when they're spending time with other media, that phone is always there, either adding to or detracting from the experience. So it, I love those stats because it really gives us a sense of how important this is and also how different it is from every other device that we've had up until this point. So if we turn to the next slide, um, this one summary slide really captures all of the, the discussions that we are having with our clients. Yes, mobile can do all of the things that typical advertising can do, such as awareness, such as consideration, um, but there are really some cool things that mobile offers that are unique to the mobile space. Location being one of them, Tom will touch on that a bit. Um, but no other device uh, gives you the types of location data that can be used from everything of the classical examples of targeting someone when they're in a specific place, but even more importantly, the data that we can capture on people's patterns over time based on where they go, and even using location as an attribution tool to know, hey, they saw these ads in these places and then they showed up in this store. So it's really powerful and it's something that hasn't existed with other channels in the past. Um, Mobile powers all social. 80% of social traffic is coming from mobile devices. Uh, and then it's the only screen that people have with them when they're watching other media. So there's a real unique companion component that mobile offers. So these are all things that we are focused on as we're having discussions with clients. Um, and where it really gets interesting is when you start to look at and think about mobile as means of marketing. So, for example, if you're thinking about where do you draw the lines between product and marketing and service and marketing, there are a number of devices out there from Nike Plus to the Babolat 
tennis racket where we've started to catch glimpses of what this can look like. Um, Tom will get into some even more interesting examples. I think it really comes to life when you see what a CPG company can do or an automotive company can do um, besides just some sports devices. So that's the other notion that we'd like to set the tone over the next couple of days is what is the long-term role of mobile? Um, how do we get over this, what we call a strategy crisis? Um, we, as we work with a lot of our clients, we observe that there's a, a desire to do mobile. It's often very tactical, um, and we, we all as an industry need to strive to really be strategic in defining what is the role of mobile overall as part of marketing, as part of as part of product, as part of CRM, and then from there, get into what is the role for advertising. But there's this big sort of strategy layer that still needs to be solved for by a lot of brands, and all of us who are in this room are the people who can help make that happen. <laughs>